Hello. It's time for us to work another round on the brunette satin slouchy lace beret. I'm ready to work round seven and if you want to you can read through and it'll tell you what to do. Um, I've gotten to the point where I like using a chart when I do lace knitting. It's just easier to read this chart as I work. So in order to do that you have to know what these symbols mean. So I can look at this and I can see a little loop and then a dash and then this little left facing hump and a circle. I'm like, what in the heck is that? <laughs> so I use my key. Now I know that the loop is a knit one through the back loop, a circle is a yarn over, a dash is a purl, and a, a blank square is a knit one. So I keep my key nearby and I watch my chart as I work. And it's easy to do. So now let me make sure you can see what I'm working on. I'm going to have to hold my hand right there. All right. So it says knit one through the back loop. And I already did that. So I'm not going to show you that. Now I need to purl. So I bring the yarn forward. And I purl. And now I need to do a slip slip knit. So I'm going to take the yarn back. I'm going to slip slip knit. And in the pattern it tells you that um, when you slip slip knit you need to slip next two stitches knitwise one at a time, pass them back to the left hand needle, then knit through the back loops together. So here's a slip slip knit. Pass slip those twice, put them back onto the left needle, and then wrap this and pull it through. Ta -da! That was a slip slip knit. Now I'm ready for a yarn over. So I'll just wrap it. Now I need a knit. And then it says the right facing loop, I mean hump, is a knit two together. So I knit two together. Now I need to yarn over, do a knit, yarn over, and now I need to do a slip slip knit again. Slip, slip, put those over here. Now I need to do another knit, another yarn over, another knit two together, and then a purl, a knit through the back loop, and a purl. So now I've finished the first set. So now I just sit this at a comfortable place where I can see it and I just keep doing that over and over again. So now I'm going to knit through the back loop, purl, slip slip knit, uh oh, I take that back. That would have been a mistake. <laughs> slip slip knit. Slip, slip, knit. Now I have to yarn over, knit, knit two together, yarn over, knit, yarn over, slip, slip, knit, Knit, yarn over, knit two together, purl, knit one through the back loop, purl. So now I've done two, so I can look at these and I can see how they look. They look pretty good. So I've got my little V coming up here, got my V coming up there. 
everything's lining up just right. And you can also look at your ribbing and you can see where the pearls are, how they're in between the ribs and the knits are right on the ribs. So as long as everything's lining up right, you know you got it right. Time for another repeat. Knit through the back loop. Pearl. Slip, slip, knit. Yarn over, knit, knit two together, yarn over, knit, yarn over, slip, slip, knit. And of course my nose is itching right now. <laughs> that always happens when you do lace knitting. Knit, yarn over, knit two together. Now I'm ready to do my curl. Knit one through the back loop and the curl. So now let's take a look at it again. It's looking good. I'm happy with it. Time for another repeat. Knit through the back loop. Curl. Slip, slip, knit. Yarn over, knit. Knit two together. Yarn over, knit. Yarn over, slip, slip, knit. Starting to get tight. halfway around. Everything's looking good. I'm happy with it. Keep on trucking, baby. Knit through the back loop. Pearl. Slip, slip, knit. I want to check my work. Make sure I'm doing it right. It looks good. Time for the next repeat. Knit through the back loop. Pearl. Slip, slip, knit. progress. So that's how the um, round seven works. I hope that watching me do it might have helped you a little bit. And um, you keep working on your beret and I'll keep working on mine. See you in the Burnett form.